Hello, and welcome to the semifinals of the WCSL Draft League. Honestly, I really didn't think we'd make it this far. We took over for a team, like, midway through the league, um, and here we are. We made it all the way to semifinals and maybe even to finals. Not sure. Um, this is the team that we're up against right here, the Michigan Wall Reigns. They've got Dialga, Spectriere, Rotom Washform, Cinderace, Weavile, Togekiss, Terrakion, Marowak, Yuxi, and Stoutland. These are some, this is probably one of the best drafted teams in the league. Uh, a lot of these Pokemon are very threatening. Um, again, like the C tiers, not super worried about them because like they just get dealt with pretty easily. But the, the uh, restricted through the B tiers, all very threatening. Um, like a lot of the other teams kind of fall off once you hit their kind of B tiers. Uh, they are just a lot less powerful compared to their S restricted through their like A tiers. But all of these mods are really, really good. Um, the Pokemon I'm expecting to see, I think Dialga comes for sure because it's good against our Restricted, which is Xerneas. Spectrier could come. Uh, it's either Spectrier or like Weavile or Togekiss that doesn't come. It's one of these three, I think, because I think Rotom is so good against, like, it's good against uh, Gyarados. It outspeeds and can just kill it. Uh, it's really good against Arcanine, as Arcanine can't hit it for super effective damage. Um, and then it's just. Uh, overall, it's got utility. It's got good against Steelix. Uh, it's got um, Will-O-Wisp because our team is very physical. Cinderace outspeeds everything on our team except Dragapult. Um, so that's going to be good for us that we have that fast uh, hitting thing. And same with Spectre. It's faster than everything except Dragapult. Uh, Weavile. Uh, well, Dragapult and Feramosa, which uh, my opponent is probably not ex expecting because I've never brought it once until this week. Weavile's good because it's got the beat-up synergy with Thrakion, and that could come, but if he doesn't uh, bring Weavile, then I know he's not going to go for the beat-up. Uh, and Togekiss, I think... I mean, Togekiss isn't probably as good as those other members because all those other members are really, really good, but Togekiss is the most consistent way that my opponent has to stop me from going for beat-up. And if my opponent's done his research, he's going to know I love going for beat-up. I go for it almost... I think I've had beat-up every single week uh, up until now just because it's so good, and... The thing that I've noticed is that even when my opponents have the means to like redirect it, like I faced Clefable, I've faced, uh, where's the other team with redirection? Amoongus, those are the two. They never got brought, like not even to team preview versus me. So I don't know. Maybe this opponent won't bring it either, but I have a feeling he will. Um, he's a, from what I've heard from uh, Pineapple who's faced him before, he's a pretty big fan of Togekiss. So I think I can expect to see Togekiss. So uh, our team has two main modes. It's got the beat-up mode, um, and then we've got a Steelix mode, which I'm pretty excited for. So basically, if we don't see Togekiss on Team Preview, uh, we're pretty safe to go for the beat-up mode, which is lead Dragapult, and then either uh, Verizion or Arcanine. Uh, and by the way, I've got a uh, internet service provider theme team uh, name this week, which I think is pretty funny. One of my friends is like, I'm, I was like asking, like, oh, what should I do? I'm like running out of names for the... Uh, for the like nickname theme i've done among us like twice kind of now because i did one with memes and there was an among us name there and then among us uh just tasks it's like i, I don't even like play among us it's just funny because it's it's like a meme but uh so like he saw Ver verizion next to xerneas and he's like that's verizon and xfinity it's just internet service providers so i'm like that's so good because then i thought of cricket for a uh, fermosa and then Earthlink because it's like chunks of earth linked together for this and then it starts with A, and then this one is Windstream. I don't know. I've never even heard of Windstream or Earthlink before uh, doing this. So, anyway, this is just enough speed to outspeed uh, um, Spectrier by two points, which is pretty important. Um, actually, is it important to be that fast? I don't know if we actually need to go that fast. I don't know. Maybe we could lower it by one, but I mean, the extra bulk doesn't really do that much for us. We've got Dragon Darts, uh, Steel Wing, Beat Up, and Thunder Wave. So the Dragon Darts is basically to just chip, uh, what happened? Oh, I went over to see our team. Uh, right. Dialga, okay. Uh, Dragon Darts is really to just like chip through his sashes and stuff and finish off like, uh, Terrakion and stuff, like if we can get them down. Um... The cool thing about Dragon Hearts is if one of his Pokemon protects, then both hits are going to go target the other one for big damage. Steel Wing actually hits a decent amount of his Pokemon for super effective damage. Like, these three all get hit for super effective, uh, which is good. 
And then one thing that's funny about Beat Up is that Beat Up plus Helping Hand actually KOs the Spectre or it should KO the Spectre Uh I did a bunch of calcs, like, because the thing about Beat Up is, like, you have to go in here, like, we'll, we'll go put in a Dragapult, right? And then I'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to use Bite and then manually change the power to be 22 because that's the base power of, of uh, Dragapult's Beat Up. And then the next hit's going to be basically, like, 18 for Xerneas. It'd be, like, 19 for Steelix. It's like 20 for Arcanine, and then it's like 21 for Verizion, or something something, something like that. And like the hits, they do enough in the calculator, all four hits, uh, they do enough to knock out the Spectre Air in the calculator, but when I did the uh, the testing in Showdown, it didn't kill. I'm like, oh, ugh. not sure how it's going to work in game. Don't know that it even comes to that. Uh, Thunder Wave's actually really cool, because we can hit the Weavile with Thunder Wave and make it slow, and then the Terrakion... Um, yeah, the Trachyon is going to be, uh, it, it, the Trachyon is going to attack before the Weavile gets to fire up a beat up. So that basically denies them one turn of, uh, of beat up, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we've got Verizion equipped with the Expert Belt because Expert Belt Life Force or Expert Belt Leaf Blade uh, picks up a KO on non Dynamax Rotom Wash. Uh, if they're as bulky as I expect them to be, I basically expect them to run just enough speed EVs to outspeed Gyarados, and then the rest in bulk. And that this Leaf Blade KOs that, unless they take a lot out of their special attack, which they could do. Uh, this close combat is also enough to KO um, Speedy Dialga, again, enough to outspeed Gyarados. Notice why I didn't bring Gyarados, because like a lot of their Pokemon are just faster than it and can carry electric moves. And that's really all the coverage we need. Um, we don't really need to worry about hitting Cinderace, because it'll just kill us before we can move. So we have Helping Hand, and then we have Protect. This is a Scarf Xerneas, which is kind of weird. I actually did end up changing Moonblast to Aromatherapy. I don't think I'm ever going to really click anything aside from Dazzling Gleam and maybe Moonblast. But these last two moves can come in clutch, maybe. Like if something gets... If like, like our Verzion's like set to sweep, except it gets burned, we can come in in Aromatherapy. We can also Gravity for uh, something that I'll show you in a little bit, because that's going to be really cool, I think. Yeah, really just clicking uh, Dazzling Gleam. Um, this Arcanine is Life Orb. It sucks, because... Arcanine, let's let's do the calc real quick. Arcanine, Adamant, plus four. Cinderace is like deceptively bulky. Like plus four max strike doesn't KO Cinderace, which is really bad. You need to run Life Orb to get the KO on Cinderace, which is like that's really bad. Uh, then the max airstream is gonna kill us. I, and also uh, without Life Orb, like plus four close clump close combat doesn't kill like ever so we can't go scarfed and just be faster than it which was my original plan but then when i realized that uh close combat doesn't kill i'm like Ugh. so i'm doing life orb arcanine um we've got just uh, this is a life orb hp number max attack uh we're running jolly now so we outspeed i believe this is dialga base 90 pokemon so yeah it's dialga and also by uh comparison it's also faster than rotom wash because rotom wash can never be faster than dialga Oh, max speed, y'all at least. Uh, then we've got Flare Blitz for just neutral damage on everything. Uh, close combat to hit mostly Dialga, but also like Terrakion. And then extreme speed to chunk out stuff for neutral and get a uh, a neutral hit on Cinderace no matter what type they turn into, which is really nice. Unless they go for Iron Head, but I don't think they're going to go for Iron Head. Uh, I mean, it could. It's Max Airstream's better. Let's just say that. Then they've got Steelix, or I've got Steelix. This spread, I believe, uh, it did something. It lets me, I think this is the bare minimum to kill Togekiss at plus one. Let's try that. 252, 252, dot, dot. Yes, just bare minimum to kill Togekiss. And it's also enough to kill, I think 252 Dynamax at plus three. Not quite. Let's try like 68 because I think that's about the HP that they're at. Yeah, it's enough to kill uh, this. It's enough to kill the Dialga that outspeeds Gyarados at plus three. So and we've got weakness policy plus sturdy. So basically, we're guaranteed to live any one hit. Um, and like honestly, we're bulky enough to where we don't really have to worry about um, like the sturdy activating. That's really just if they crit us with uh, with like Rotom Max Geyser, and the other one was I think. A crit max knuckle from plus four Terrakion is the only other one that will actually proc sturdy. So those two cases. And it's also good if we decide not to max the Steelix, we can just come in, like take get hit down to sturdy, and then revenge kill something back with a high horsepower or self um, iron head or self-destruct, which could be pretty cool. 
Um, unfortunately, it doesn't learn Explosion this gen for some reason. Uh, they didn't give it that, so we have to run Self-Destruct. But that's that just turns into Max Strike, which is actually enough to kill non-Dynamax Rotom at plus two, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the partner for Steelix is Feramosa, with Double Kick to kill Weavile through Focus Sash, if they're running that. Uh, I think a lot of this matchup is going to come down to figuring out who has what item, because my opponent has two two Pokemon in particular that really both want the Focus Sash. So if I can figure out which one has it, that's going to be really good for me. And they also have a lot of Pokemon that kind of want to have a Life Orb. Like, Terrakion with Life Orb can do a lot of damage to my team. Um, and that's actually going to come down to my EV spread um, for Feramosa because Keyberry, you get hit by a physical move, you get a defense boost. And one thing that's really cool about this Feramosa in particular, let's, let's put it in there. It's 164... And then it's 252 defense, uh, Jolly Nature. Okay, so Weavile. Weavile, fake out, is doing 21.5 damage maximum. So that's going to leave us at 88.5%. Uh, then we go to Terrakion, max, uh, not plus four, but max Rockfall. When we're at plus one defense, is doing 70%. So... This spread, plus the key barrier, allows us to live a fake out into Max Rockfall and then at one turn of Sandstorm Chip, guaranteed on this Feramosa. Um, but that's, again, this is why I say we need to know where their, uh, where their items lie, because if, the, if it's Expert Belt, Expert Belt doesn't boost that damage at all, but if it's a Life Orb, then we die. So we need to figure out where that Life Orb is, because they could stop this lead if they do that. But then again, we have Protect, so if, we, if it, it is Life Orb, then we can go for the safe Protect on turn one. Uh, the reason I don't want to do that, obviously, is because I don't want to let them set up to plus four. One thing I actually want to check real quick. If they're at plus four with Life Orb, and we are at not boosted, and we use Protect, we can die. Okay, so we that's another reason to know where the, uh, where the Life Orb is. Although it's very rare to die. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Um... Anything else? So basically the plan is, uh, the reason I'm, I have this lead also is because coaching ignores uh, follow me from Togekiss. So if they lead Togekiss, we can just set up a coaching on the Steelix, kill the Togekiss turn one, and then we speed swap turn two and kill the partner with Steelix. And then like we're pretty much set to sweep with Steelix at that point. The only case where that's bad is if they have something that can one-shot Feramosa. And I actually want to check real quick. Spectrier. Shadow Ball. What about non life orb shadow ball? 50 50, okay. I wonder if, is there like. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to optimize this to where I can actually live a shadow ball. I'll, I'll, I'll touch it up a little bit. I wonder how much would I need to live a shadow ball? Fifty two? I've only got 92 here, right? Yeah, only 92. Oh, I'm not living anymore. Yeah, it's going to take a lot. I don't know that I can do that. But then again, if they lead Spectre, I don't think they would ever really lead Spectre or Togekiss. So I could probably just nuke the Spectre or turn one with Steelix. And if, yeah, honestly, if they lead Spectre, they're probably going to try to burn the Steelix over kill the Feramosa. But I don't know. But yeah, that's the team. Uh, overall, I think I have, I think I've got the tools here to win. But my opponent this week, is he's a very good player. So it, I think it is just going to come down to who can make the correct calls during the match. Because I think I've got the tools to win, but I think he's going to have some tools that I'll, I won't see coming. Um, and I think it's going to be a very interesting match, to say the least. Um, but yeah, uh, this is probably not the most consistent team I've built. And honestly, I'm not too worried about it, because I'm just happy that I made it this far. But anyway, let's hop right into the battle. And here we are. Uh, we're getting ready to battle Miss Spellers in the semifinals. Uh, this is exciting. I uh, got the team. I uh, made sure to give him the candy, put him in the damage calc, and now I'm just waiting for him to tell me once he's searching. All right, he says, give me a sec. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> actually not as nervous as I have been for the past couple of matches because, uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not super... Worried about losing this because I, I mean I made it. This is farther than I've ever been in a uh, VGC tournament, especially since um, the last time I seriously played VGC was in like 2015, 2016. 
I'm like severely out of practice and I'm just happy to get this far. Uh, so we're just waiting on the spellers. Um, I mean, the plan this week is... Okay, he's searching. Yeah, this is probably the least... Well, maybe not the least consistent, but one of the more... One of the less consistent plans that we've come up with. Let me make sure I'm recording my mic. Uh, mic aux... Yes, I am recording my mic this time, so we will have live audio. Benny boy. Yeah. Alright. Let's help you pick some so that show my nicknames. Yeah, that looks right. All right, participating team, party, and we'll get gym leader this time. I don't think we've—I actually don't know what things we've had, but the gym leader one is pretty bopping. All right, turn off the webcam so we can see the team. And oh wow, Marowak! All right, so Cinderace, Togekiss. Uh, Dialga, Rotom, Marowak, Weavile, Weavile. So close to what I expected, but no Spectrier and no, um, no Spectrier and no Terrakion, which is interesting. Because, I mean, he had to give up one of the seven that I thought were really good. So in the back... Oh, absolutely, Verzion comes here. And it's really up to, do we, would we rather have Xerneas or Arcanine? Uh, oh, it's tough. It's really tough. Arcanine is nice because it can come in on the Cinderace. Yeah, I think Arcanine is pretty necessary for Cinderace to extreme speed it because uh, Steelix can't quite one-shot it at full. Uh... Yeah, I think this is what we do. I hope he leads Togekiss. That's really good for us if he does. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Pineapple wishes me good luck. TY, TY. I've never actually seen this before. Okay, so I've actually prepped against this lead. I think this is the first time that a lead that I've prepped against has shown up. Um, so in this case, we just go for... We're going to go for coaching. And we're going to... Max Steel Spike the Togekiss, I think. Hmm, what's the worst case scenario here? Uh, I think the worst case scenario would be... Will-O-Wisp onto Steelix and Max Togekiss and then kill... I can't kill Steelix. I don't think. Yeah, let's go for it. I think it's gonna be Will-O-Wisp or I think it's gonna be help... or uh... Oh, let's turn the webcam back on. I think it's gonna be Follow Me and then either... I mean, it could be Will-O-Wisp, but I mean, maybe Nasty Plot, maybe Hydro Pump. If it's Max Rotom, I think that's really good for us, but we'll find out. He is maxing. Is it Max Rotom or Max Togekiss? Togekiss. Oh, interesting, interesting. So I wonder if it's Will-O-Wisp from the Rotom. It might just be Hydro Pump. It might be Max Airstream Hydro Pump. That's interesting. I wonder if we kill Togekiss at plus three. Probably not, right? Electroweb? Scarfed. And Electroweb. Okay, he doesn't know that I wasn't Focus Sash. That's actually really interesting. Uh, probably Air Slash, right? Air Stream. Oh, fuck. 
That's actually really weird. Is it weakness policy? That did more than half. Let's find out if it's weakness policy. Would that have proc before? It is fucking- oh, man. Hmm. So what do we do here? The Rotom isn't much of a threat at all. I think we go Arcanine. Oh, Arcanine doesn't have Protect, does it? Shoot. Hmm. I think we have to go Arcanine. The Togekiss? Oh, I wonder if he protects Togekiss here. That's interesting to think about. So what does he have in the back? He has Cinderace, Dialga, Marowak, and Weavile. Hmm. Can Arcanine take a minus two? Probably not, right? Arcanine versus Togekiss. At plus two, give him 252. Max Airstream. Not quite, no, Arcanine can't live one. But we don't need the health. Maybe he's just going to expect to protect? I think I have to... I think maybe... I think we'll double into it. The, the Rotom isn't a threat at all. I think we just sack one of our guys here. Okay, I wasn't worried about the Rotom at all. Only time... That's Dialga, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, kind of what I expected. Didn't really care about the Rotom at all. Um. Well, the Dialga's actually slower than Arcanine right now. Huh. So. Does two close, does two close combats take this boy out though? Is what I'm wondering. Or two extreme speeds. I'm assuming it's not gonna have any bolt, and it's not gonna be bold. Extreme speeds doing. 14 to 17? Oh, that's not even enough. Oh, that's actually max HP Togekiss, which it probably isn't. 17 to 20? It's close, it's close. Well, actually, the thing is, I don't think he can even take out Steelix. Oh, it's tough. He'd have to double into Steelix, and I don't think he's expecting sturdy Steelix. So I'm going to close combat, and I'm going to Steel Spike the Togekiss. Airstream into Arcanine, that's what I thought. Okay, that's fine. I was sacking Arcanine there because Verizion is the real one that's going to come in at the end. It really depends on who the last guy is. Breaking Swipe? Okay. Oh, that's actually really... Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, that's bad for me, though. It's not going to kill. Ah, oh, it isn't. I should have doubled. I really should have doubled. Oh my god, that's so... Oh man, that's... So... That's crazy. I really should have just extreme speeded. I shouldn't have split my damage. I think that might cost me. I have to make a call here. Um... Does the Dialga... The Dialga I don't think is that big of an issue. Does the Togekiss protect here? Yes or no? If the Togekiss protects here, then I protect... Well, then I attack the Dialga with both my guys. I think I'm protecting Verzion. And I'm going to... Ironhead the, the Togekiss. Oh, does he get greedy, though? Hmm... No, I think, he, I think he's protecting Togekiss here. Yeah, I don't think he wants to lose uh, Dialga. So I think I'm going to double the Dialga. Yeah, I think he's protecting Togekiss. Stomping Tantrum? That's my weakness policy. Stomping Tantrum. Okay, that's why we doubled. So 
so Celix gets one. I could blow up here. Is it worth it to blow up? Who's he got in the back? If it's Rotom, Weavile. Mm, that's actually really bad. That's probably the Sash, because he didn't bring the other guy. So we protect... Do we protect Verzeon? He's only revealed Airstream on Togekiss. Protect Verzeon. Hmm, it's tough because the Togekiss is so fast. Which one do we kill? Well, it's actually probably fake out here, isn't it? I guess we just double protect, right? Oh, yeah, I think we... No, I think we have to go... I don't. Th I think double protect just loses. I'm gonna attack the Togekiss. I think he's faking out Steelix here for sure, though. But I have to hope that he doesn't. Yeah. And then this should be Air Slash and Diversion to cover the... Oh, Dazzling Well, if I had attacked with... Actually, I think I could have brought it back if I had attacked with Diversion there. That did a lot. Oh, he is at plus two. That helps that he can't hit Steelix. Oh, I really should have. If I'd done something different, if I, I should have played into the fake out that turn. Do we double on the Weavile? Yeah, it's double on the Weavile. Ice Shard. That's a lot of damage from an Ice Shard, wow. The Ice Shard. Uh, and then Fake Out. And it is Sash, okay. That's why I was checking that. Oh man! Well, we can get kills with Steelix if he misses all his moves. Okay, so we have to rethink that. Um, actually, if I had just played around that fake out better, oh, I should have just, I should have, oh, I ran out of time. Because I, I did think he was going to fake out the Steelix, I just had to hope that he messed up. But if I had faked it the other way around, um, I think I actually may have had a chance to bring it back. Oh man, so that lead didn't work. Uh, played the same rules. All right, let's bring that same team. So actually, uh, let's just calc uh, while we're here. Togekiss versus Arcanine at plus four. Max Flare, yeah, kills. Yeah, so Dragapult Arcanine was, I think, the correct play there. Well, actually, does does Rotom Hydro Pump kill? No, doesn't. Yeah, I think that's the correct play. Verzion in the back, and then do we want Steelix in the back? Steelix is pretty good in the back, though. Or do we want Xerneas in the back? Steelix or Xerneas? We've got Cinderace still, which is a kind of a threat. And Steelix... Mm -hmm. It's tough, because without... I mean, we didn't get any coaching off, and Steelix was still pretty good. I think I am going to bring the Steelix still. Yeah. So if he leads the same thing, I think our clear body Dragapult uh, and plus Arcanine can be pretty good against that. Unless he just switches it up. Oh, that could be really interesting if he goes, maxes the Rotom and goes for Fake Out. That's pretty cool. Or goes for Follow Me. So do I want to predict that? Do I want to predict the Follow Me immediately? Because if he's not offensive Togekiss...
Well, like, if he's not defensive, if he's, uh, like, offensive, right? Steel Wing. Helping Hand Steel Wing. It's not doing that much. Well, it's Dynamax. Uh, it's not worth it, I think. I think we just go for the... I think we're just gonna go for the beat up. And then Dynamax. Do we want to max Strike or do we want to max Flare? I think max Flare actually because we can lower the power of stuff. Okay, he's not maxing here, so he is following me. Um, that's good to know. Well, actually, he could be maxing just slower than Arcanine, which I, he would be slower than Arcanine. I wonder if he's maxing, because he could just go for follow me. I, he probably does, right? He does, yeah. Okay. What is this? Is this Hydro Pump? It's Volt Switch. Okay. Into... What's it going to be? Cinderace? Dialga? This should just blow away Togekiss, I would think. Breaking the Sash that that Togekiss doesn't have. Max Flare. Uh, without Helping Hand. Not a guaranteed KO. I should have gone, gone for Stealing. I can do Stealing next turn, though. If it doesn't kill. It doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's check Arcanine versus Dialga. Sun boosted Flare Blitz uh, with no boost is going to do a lot to this Dialga. So let's go for... Should we go for Steel Wing? Yeah, let's go for Steel Wing. That'll go first, and then the Max Flare goes into Dialga. Okay. And if this Dialga doesn't max, it's going to die. We just gotta hit the Steel Wing. Got it. So Dragapult gets one. Max Flare going into Dialga. Let's hope this kills. Not quite, okay. But we're in a pretty decent spot. Trick Room, okay. We have Steelix in the back. Who's coming in? Is it... It can't be Cinderace, right? It's gotta be Rotom. Weavile in Trick Room? Oh my. I think we'll just darts. And we will... Uh, do we max Knuckle? I think so, right? Because that'll do more to the Weavile under Protect. Max Flare. Actually, no. Under Sun, it looks like... Max, yeah, Max Flare does what- Max Flare actually kills through Protect, if they do Protect. And the Dragon Darts will finish him off. So, I think we might just lose Dragapult here, to the Ice Shard. No, our Dragapult's bulky as hell, let's go! Breaking Swipe, that's fine. Okay, well we did lose Dragapult to that. So Weavile's going down to Sash. Max Flare. So this isn't going to kill. Brings it down to Sash. And now we're in a, actually a really good spot because he set up Trick Room for us with our... Uh, with our Steelix coming in here. That's actually... This is actually hilarious. What if I just went for Self-Destruct? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um... I just guess we just go for Iron Head on the Weavile, right? Weavile can't outspeed us. Well, there actually is a chance that we don't kill. Let's go for Iron Head on the Dialga. And Extreme Speed on the Weavile, I guess. There is, I'm just worried that this, Let me just calc this real quick. Dialga. Semifinals Dialga. Uh, Extreme Speed, not... Extreme Speed is doing 11%. Oh, we're not at minus one, though. 
8%? That's gotta be 8% at least, right? Yeah. Iron Head on the Weavile. And Extreme Speed on the Dialga. One of these probably... Oh, he's just letting them both go down. When that, that didn't look like it was going to kill. So Arc gets one. And Steelix looks like it's going to get another one. Ice Shard. Break my Sturdy that he doesn't know about. Steelix gets another one. No oh, nice crit. Let's go. <laughs> Ikea Rejects coming in. Let's count this. Steelix. Semi-final Steelix versus Rotom. Rotom 2? No, it's Rotom Wash. Self-Destruct. 50%. How many turns of Trick Room are there? Two. Let's not blow up yet. Let's just go for the Iron Head. And close combat. Oh, he hasn't Dynamaxed yet. Wow, I did not think of that. I completely forgot he didn't even max yet. Oh, and that means he loses his Scarf, so my close combat might just cost me that. Max Geyser, prob actually, uh, either one of these would be really good for him. AT&T going down. Setting up rain. So let's check this Rotom versus my Verizion. I'm not Dynamaxed. He is, and he's got Max Geyser in rain. It's doing half. So on this last turn of Trick Room, I think I'm going to blow up my Steelix. Yeah. Let's blow up. And we protect. He shouldn't be afraid of Steelix. He should target Versi on here, I think. Boom! <laughs> Let's see if we can crit. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> Geyser. Not much damage. Trick him's over, so now I'm faster. We go for Leaf Blade. And that's his last turn. This is his last turn of Dynamax. Let's see if he can crit. Not quite. Geyser. Okay, that's not even close to the damage that. Actually, that's about what the damage calc shows. And now, he can't kill Verzion. Leaf Blade going out. Okay. Well, I don't want to write it on just yet, just in case I do end up losing. Hydro Pump. He needs a crit. A super mega crit, actually. Nope. Okay, Verzion gets one. Phew! Anything we learned in that game? The Dialga had Breaking Swipe. The Togas does have Follow Me. The Rotom is Scarped, it's got Hydro. And the Weavile's doing a lot of damage despite being uh, sashed and not like Life Orb or Bandit or anything. Yep, play again. I think we're just going to do the same thing. Um, what else could he do? He could bring Marowak, but... 
I don't think Marowak's that threatening unless he had it in the back instead of Weavile. That could be scary. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just go with the same thing, I think. I don't think we want Xerneas this game. Cinderace could be really scary if he had has that without Trick Room. We go Arcanine. Let's get Steelix for that Trick Room. And Verizion. I don't think he sets up Trick Room this time, so maybe Xerneas is better here. Let's go with this. Let's see what he leads. He might change up his lead this time. But if he changes up his lead, then he just gets bopped by uh, Pheromosa Steelix. So I don't know what he's gonna... I don't know. Only time. Dialga. Okay. So, do we just max? Uh, Arcanine. Let's just check this. Arcanine Max Flare versus Togekiss. A blank Togekiss set. It's doing a lot, though. Oh, that's in rain. That's in rain. No weather. Yeah, this looks like no bulk Togekiss to me, which means let's... I think we're just going to go for the Steel Wing into the Togekiss immediately, and the Max Flare. Is that bad if he protects Togekiss, though? No, let's go for the beat up just in case, I think. Oh, fuck. I think we got it. Yes, we just got it in time. Phew! Yeah, he might overpredict here. If he overpredicts and protects Togekiss, then I think we're fine. There's nothing really that this Dialga can do that I'm scared of, except Trick Room. And with Marowak in the back. Trick Room with Marowak in the back could be pretty scary, actually. And then he maxes Marowak. Protect Togekiss? Follow me, okay. I should've... Actually, no, giving him... Don't, not giving him a free switch in is pretty good, I think. I can leave Togekiss on the field for a while. I think this is Trick Room coming out. Or Breaking Swipe. Should live. Yeah, okay. Breaking Swipe or Trick Room? Breaking Swipe? Trick Room, okay. So that means he's definitely got Marowak in the back that he's doing that. So we're gonna stall out some of these turns, I think. I probably shouldn't have maxed. I probably should have just left my Arcana normal. Wait. Hang on. Oh my god. I just got a crazy idea. Marowak, minimum speed. Brave is 45. My Arcanine at minus 2. Oh, it's still faster though. Damn, I was like, what if I Thunder Wave my own Arcanine? That'd be cool. Um, I guess we'll just Dragon Darts. I think Dragon Darts will put them both into Dialga. I don't want to kill the Togekiss just yet though. Ah, uh, let's kill the Dialga. No, let's kill... Yeah, let's kill the Dialga. He didn't go for Togekiss. Oh fuck, I should've just gone for the beat up. Unless he goes for the kill on Dragapult here. He did go for the kill, okay. Didn't matter what I did. Steelix is slower than Marowak, yeah. That should live, yeah. Steelix comes out in the Trick Room. Let's Iron Head the Togekiss. Let's get a double kill here, I think. 
Oh, this is tough, because if, if it is Marowak, then we are kind of screwed. I think my Arcanine's pretty safe here. Because he hasn't maxed. It's just really scary when... Maybe I should have just double... Oh, I probably should have double protected. Ugh, that's bad on my part. I could have stalled out a turn. But then I lose max. But it's actually good for me to lose max, because then I can extreme speed the Togekiss. Oh, I, I think I just messed up by clicking so fast. I should have double protected the next turn, extreme speed the Togekiss, and maybe he messes up. He does follow me. So that means the Iron Head goes into the Togekiss. Kills it. But now he has... Oh, but I can always just double protect next turn. I don't have to protect an Arcanine. Shoot. Breaking swipe. I should have double protected, yeah. Maybe the Dialga stays alive. Yeah, Dialga goes down. Sweet. That means it's right. Steelix gets the third one. Arcanine gets the second one. So I am up a Pokemon right now. And we do have... We are under Trick Room. I think it's Marowak and... It's already revealed Rotom, right? No. Okay, but it is Rotom. It's Rotom. That's probably Marowak. Yeah. So he's probably going to max the Marowak here, right? How many turns of Trick Room are there left? Two. So for sure we go for a high horsepower into it, right? Can he kill my Steelix? Oh, hell yeah, he can. Dude, my Steelix takes so much damage here. Oh, my Steelix is so specially defensive. I think we'll just double into it. <gasps> My Steelix is faster, though. I think we'll Helping Hand. Yeah, I think he's trying to try to kill Arcanine here. I, I have to hope he kills Arcanine here. Oh, this Hyrus part is, like, doing nothing now. It's doing 50 to non-max, but... Oh, he didn't actually max it. I got a 5% miss. You're kidding me. That's so... Oh my god. Live? A 5% miss. I wonder if that actually makes a difference. Is he maxing? He's got one turn of Trick Room left. If he maxes, it should be here, right? I guess we protect here. Start the last turn of Trick Room. Yeah, there's the max. Okay. Uh, what can he hit me with? Why is Low Kick doing so much damage? Hang on. Is it actually 120 base power? <laughs> no, it's not. There's the foul play. Oh, uh, I was boosted. Alright, so now I'm faster. Uh, how much did that steel spike do? I was qu not quite seeing. Uh, so, I took... Let's see. I took 40 damage there. That means it's going to be 40 times 4 is going to be 160 damage. I'm dead if I don't get like a super mega ultra crit on this uh, Leaf Blade. Actually, Leaf Blade crit I think does... Oh, that's Max Blade. Oh yeah, Leaf Blade crit does not kill Dynamax. I need, like, a super mega crit, though. Oh, he's boosting me. He's boosting me. Yo, hang on. There's actually a chance. There's actually a chance with a crit. I'm locking myself into foul play. Wait, hang on. There's a chance. You're telling me. Ah, oh, it's not. It's done. 
<laughs> Wait, that's actually so funny. If that had crit, that would have been like the... Somehow? No. <laughs> that was actually crazy. That was a great semifinals match. Oh, man. What could I have done differently? I think if I had double protected, um, let's see, like, there was one turn. Steel spike through tech did forty. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, if you enjoyed that, smash the like button. That's gonna do it for me in this uh, draft league. But uh, I had, that was a, that was an incredible set. I was, that was really fun, honestly. I haven't had that much fun since I played VGC seriously back in like 2015. So shout outs to my opponent. Um, I definitely scuffed some turns in there, but I mean, hey, I'm uh, basically an amateur in the new VGC format. So um, I'll catch you in the next series. I'll be doing some more Nuzlocking, maybe some Minecraft, not sure. But stay tuned. See ya.